हेलो एवरीवन होप एवरीबॉडी इज़ डूइंग ग्रेट टुडे इज़ सेवेंटीन अप्रैल 2022 आई जस्ट थॉट लेट मी सो सो यू हाउ द गार्डन इज बिकॉज सी दिस वीपिंग चेरी ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड ब्लूमिंग येस्टर्ड आई केम एंड नो देर वॉज नो ब्लूम ऑल द बॉर्ड्स वेर जस्ट रेडी टू ओपन बट नाउ आई सी so i just didn't want to miss the starting day when i didn't have a big garden i mean many many plants uh, in the initial years uh, these two <laughs> weeping cherry they are blooms i used to enjoy so they have given me lot of joy from the other side i felt it was little uh, dark so i thought let me show you from this side the daffodil garden i believe 90% of the blooms are already open i'm here to show you the status of the viburnum first i will show you the viburnum and the lilacs and if still i will think i have more time i will share some other so here this is my first viburnum that i planted 3 years ago if you see there are so many birds flowering birds see my zone is six uh, so that's why i thought uh, people who live in the uh, same zone they can relate what time uh, these plants uh, opens their leaf and the bloom so based on zone uh, the time is different and accordingly you can uh, calculate your flowering zone or planting time so this is how it is on 17th april in june 6 this is my second fiber norm that i planted last year see i'm so happy seeing these new new birds i already trimmed it now i don't remember i recorded that or not so see where i'm standing i was standing there behind that daffodil i have one fiber norm this year will be third year so that bloomed i saw last year how it blooms and uh, the tag in in the other plant was the same this tag so it is supposed to be this flower in that plant in that plant but it did not bloom it bloomed a different that also i like that's why i bought this one last year so i am hoping they will bloom like this so let's see so just opposite of this is this lilac so this is my first lilac but uh, i did not have fans at that time see where i am standing next to my this new done uh, climbing rose which i need to trim i didn't so this is my first lilac that i planted so maybe it is 5 years old but 2 3 times the first 2 years uh, it was by mistake chopped while um, while uh, mowing the lawn so this time i am seeing lot of healthy branches which makes me very happy because first 2 years though i had deer net around it still they just push the deer net and they they just eat the uh, all baby branches so it was not able to grow so and last year somehow uh, for some reason it did not have a lot of branches but this year i'm seeing so many so it is growing very well this is my first lilac i will show you the second one so i was there from there i came here so this is uh, this will be i think third year so the other lilac that is four year old this is three year old so last year it bloomed 
but only one uh, branch you can say this here i see more you see this is going to open as a flower branch so this is the status and i have few the fragrantic leaf here i said earlier so this is sensation lilac and that one common lilac the first one this is sensation lilac kind of bicolor the blooms very pretty this is my third lilac you can see where i am standing that is one diablo nine bark and that is honey crisp apple so that is one white rhododendron so it was a uh, very tiny maybe when i bought it was like this height and last year it grew little bit and then this year i am so happy to see this so the first year seeing its status i was um, i was uh, not uh, hopeful that it will survive but now it makes me very happy so this is also common lilac uh, and uh, when i bought i just wanted to add more lilac uh, just to add more fragrant flowers and it was not very expensive that's why i added so this is um, the same lilac uh, there are two roots i mean actually there are four roots so i planted two here and two i have planted the um, that side of my garden so th that side i have only one lilac because when i planted i assumed that that is uh, shade area and they need this lilac needs sun area but at that time um, somehow i did not know that they get enough uh, afternoon sun and uh, sunny plants can also flourish there so just to experiment uh, how it will do i planted uh, two roots in one place uh, on that side close to the um, kefir pier and two roots i planted here and i'm so happy both of them have survived but they are of same variety now let me take you another one this is my palivan lilac you just see how many birds are there in each branch so last year also it there are a lot of blooms in this palivan lilac and uh, they have lovely fragrance so i was there i was showing you the common lilac on that side those two branches only so this is close to my vanilla strawberry panicle hydrangea behind the third circle so this is its fourth year so this plant it was a little bigger when i planted that's why they look much bigger bush than as compared to other but this palivan lilac each bloom is smaller than other lilac but they bloom a lot and uh, very beautiful fragrant i showed you four lilacs this is my fifth lilac this i planted last year so from february i am seeing the um, flowering bud uh, and i was surprised that how come in february in so much cold the uh, flower head are trying to open and uh, i was surprised but somehow it happened and uh, this is from home depot i believe it was written um, blue so if i am wrong when you will see i'm sorry i'm going to show you another lilac so i i believe one of these is uh, blue and other is i forgot the name so anyway i the important thing is uh, they are fragrant so for them i have added in this garden see so right now you can say this is the earliest blooming in my garden earliest blooming lilac i mean but i had a very very hard time digging the hole you see these two big stone they were inside when i made the hole and i needed the hole exactly here because uh, that is one uh, zebra grass that needs lot of space then uh, this is the I need to trim this is uh, miss 
no not miss kim i'm sorry i'm putting the wrong wrong name uh, this is uh, magenta color uh, butterfly bush i forgot the name very beautiful uh, bloom so obviously see the size so i had to make the whole where this uh, lilac will get a lot of space so i could not make the space hole too close to that or too close to that so somehow i i did it here and uh, many other stones were also there but those are the two big stone that's why it was not easy to make the hole but i wanted the hole in the center of these two bushes and uh, behind that is the crab apple so with uh, time it is going to grow bigger and bigger so and i wanted uh, that passage so but anyway i did it <laughs> and i'm very happy to see the blooms now let's uh, take you to the other lilac this is my last lilac so um, i believe this is the blue one if the other one is not blue and uh, this is also from home depot and they look lovely and they are also ready to bloom see so this is next to this forsythia so in this east garden i have these six uh, lilacs and uh, one on my west side so i have total seven lilacs now just let me show you this uh, plum blooms so the crab apple and the plum they are not blooming at the same time otherwise it will look more beautiful because that is magenta color and this is white they will give very beautiful contrast but anyway it is blooming that is good enough for me So that's it for today I will see you in my next video thank you for watching